Toe Day Out for 2011 was held over the weekend. The event, which has now been running for three years, was larger than the previous two years. Councillor Vern Beach, Chair of Townsville's Environment and Sustainability Committee, said the event came from the need to do something about toads being an environmental pest. Uh, uh, the idea actually came from uh, the member for Charters Towers, to, and who approached uh, Townsville City Council and said, could we host, uh, host an event and do something about this environmental pest? Uh, toads are arguably the, um, the ultimate invader from an animal perspective. Toads collected by residents are weighed and counted before being put to other uses, such as research at James Cook University. This year's event saw Townsville residents outdo themselves from last year, collecting 6,760 toads. Once they've been uh, collected, we ask people to bring them in and we weigh them uh, so that we can get an approximate number. We then put them in plastic bags and uh, we, um, we seal off the plastic bag and fill it full of carbon dioxide and that euthanises the toads in about 10 to 15 seconds. On the day, awards were given out to Townsville residents that collected the heaviest and the most toads. Brian Ganley won biggest toad in the under-13 division, his toad weighing in at 406 grams. Riley Ross won most toads collected in the under-13 division, collecting 83.5 kilograms worth of toad. The Rains family from Rupert's Wood claimed the biggest toad in the over-13 division and also the overall prize for collecting the most toads, collecting a total of 165 kilograms, equating to 1,000 820 toads. Uh, we hop in our dad's car or truck and um, we drive around the street lights and then we jump out when we get there and we grab and put in the buckets. Mayor of Townsville, Councillor Les Tyrrell, said the event is a great way for Townsville residents to get involved with the community. Look, today is another opportunity for uh, people in the city to, uh, to do something for the community. Um, Every day of the week, people in towns will do things that help the community, and uh, the Toad Day Out is one that, uh, that helps the community much more than people understand. Uh, toads are a, 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 a huge nuisance. Um, they are a danger to wildlife, they're a danger to pets. Um, and the more we get rid of, uh, the better off at the end of the day the community will be. Dan Bamplett, owner of Hands on Wildlife, Better known as Ranger Dan said that toads are a pest that can cause a large amount of damage to the local environment. Initially when the toads were introduced, um, uh, a lot of the frog eating uh, predators, so snakes, uh, red belly blacks, king browns, uh, a lot of the um, carnivorous mammals, so your uh, dasyurids and particularly quolls, uh, which have a very short lifespan, um, they, uh, they succumb pretty quickly to the toads. And even as they moved across Northern Territory a couple of years ago, we saw mass die-offs of freshwater crocodiles. Because toads are such an adaptable species, it can be hard to effectively diminish toad populations. Events such as Toad Day Out can quickly and easily put a large dent in the local toad population. Yeah, there's quite a few people that think that uh, events such as Toad Day Out are a waste of time because we'll never get rid of toads. But um, we're still learning things about toads, so and a lot of these toads are going to research. So uh, days like this definitely help to um, to understand the animal better. And with them still spreading across Australia, we do need to find ways to, if not stop their movements, at least slow them right down. Benjamin Stavala, JCNN.